I would like to share with you my ideas on designing a practicing routine. Here's my model routine. So now that you've seen it, let me explain how it works. First on my models list is basics. The first thing is the Yo system for violin or my one string scales, which I created from his idea. From either book, you should target four exercises for five minutes each. Next is The School of Violin Techniques by Shradiak, or my essentially Shradiak, which is his ideas turned upside down. You should target 10 exercises for two minutes each from one of these books. Now from Dunas and his artist techniques of violin playing, you have many different options. So here's a sample. Exercise 1, pages 10 and 11, on the E string or another string. Choose any 20 measures. Exercise 2, page 12, on the E string or another string. Do A through D or any 4. Page 53, on the D string and the A string or any other strings, A through D. If you wish, you could substitute one of these areas with various exercises for, for vibrato, left hand touch, parallel bow, etc. All of this should take around 50 minutes. Do take a 10 minute break after this session if you were going to continue. Second on my models list is scales. So start with three octave scales using 24 notes ascending and 24 notes descending. Do this one note to a bow, then two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and finally 24. Using these, you can work on bow strokes, vibrato, shifts, Lots of things, whatever your goals are, whatever you are trying to accomplish mid or long term. This should take you approximately 15 minutes. Next are arpeggios. These are down one note to a bow, then three, then nine. You should really pay attention to shifts here. You should allow about 10 minutes to do this. Next on the list are double stops. For this, I prefer to use Dunas. For example, on page 35, on the A and E string, one A, B, C, G, and H for a minute each. On page 43, on the A and E strings, one A, B, two A, B, three C, Four minute each. On page 53, on the D and A strings, one A, B, two A, B, and C for one minute each. Finally, there are scale excerpts from the pieces we work on. I call them concerto scales. I would suggest working on two of them for five minutes each. All of this should take about 50 minutes. Again, take a 10 minute break after the session if you are going to continue. Third on the list is an etude or for more advanced students of Paganini Caprice. For the record, with my students, I set a time restraint of one to two weeks for each etude to be learned. If this is not possible, then I need to backtrack and fill in the pieces necessary for this to occur. The first day, perhaps more for Caprice, should be used to read through and discover where the problem areas are. There are three areas. One, 
For 15 minutes, you need to target three specific work areas to work on for five minutes each. Two, then you should enlarge the targeted area to work on for five minutes each. Three, after this, you should do 20 minutes of playthroughs. This should take around 50 minutes, and as always, when you finish, take another 10 minute break before continuing. Next on my models list are two areas that require a similar kind of practice organization. They are concertos or solo pieces, and then unaccompanied solo works. As with the Etude of Caprice, one should first take time to become familiar with the notes, fingerings, rhythms, and bowing. This will probably take around three days, depending, of course, on the length of the work being studied. I remember having a lesson with Miss Delay, and she spoke about ways to organize time and practicing. She explained to me that one way was based on a time limit, or on, on how long something would last, and the other was based on a predetermined number of times something was done. The first way turned out not the best for me as I kept looking at my watch. So I used the other way, which worked better for me. I created a sheet, which worked like this. In the first column, I numbered each line one, two, three, or, or more, and then had a recap or recapitulation. In the recap line, I played the complete passage. The second column was titled Measures. Here, I put the specific measures from the passage that I was to work on. The third column, titled Reason, was where I explained why I was working on this specific area of the passage. The fourth column was where I marked the number of times I was to do the area that I designated to allow me better calculate time, I use 7 times, 12 times, 24 times. The fifth column was where I marked after each time I did the passage, the, the motive. I marked them one at a time as this gave me a few seconds to reflect on what I had just done. So this idea helped me organize the practicing of my concerto, solo piece, or unaccompanied solo work. I allowed 50 minutes for each area and took a 10 minute break between the two. And with that, we have a model for a practicing routine with an average daily total time of around five hours. Ah, but what if you don't have five hours available? Well, to handle this, I came up with the idea of using percentages. Rather than thinking 50 minutes for each area, think 20%. Using this idea, say you had three hours available, then you would have around 36 minutes for each of the five areas. You will probably need to adjust the content of each area to fit the available time. So I think with that, you can see that this is a routine that can adjust and evolve reflecting your ever-changing limits, needs, and goals. So I hope these ideas help, and as always, take care and stay safe.